knows? The Muppets are on hiatus. What the fridge am I going to do with the vlogs now? Hey guys, this is Animat, and welcome to the first Muppet vlog of the original Muppet Show. Now, originally, I planned on doing this after the first season of the 2015 Muppet series would be done, but I decided that since, as I'm recording this now, uh, they are now in a hiatus, like, in the middle of the season in order to reboot themselves. I decided, you know what, in the meantime, might as well start this right now and go back to the very beginning of the Muppets. Well, okay, technically that is debatable. Some could say Sam and Friends and Sesame Street, but, like, I mean the Muppets, like, as we know and love, like, in terms of the Muppet Show. Um, I decided might as well go start with that. However, there is one weird thing that I did discover that is a bit strange, but I figured out what to do. Now, the thing is, is that there are two different ways to go in order. One is when they've originally aired, and two is when they were originally produced. They were, they're actually two completely different things. And when they released it, they pretty much mixed and matched everything uh, to the time that, like, they were produced and stuff like that so you never know like the first uh, episode would have been released during the middle of the season and stuff like that but for the sake of this i decided to go into the order of how it was produced because in terms of the production it makes a lot more sense and also that is the like that's pretty much how they put into the order of the dvds so i decided to might as well make it go easier and go with that Plus, it's a lot more interesting to see the evolution of the Muppets, so it makes a lot more sense. Now, with that said, going on to the first episode that they have pretty much made, it's with Juliet Prowse. Now, uh, this is going to be a new thing that I'm going to do with the Muppet Vlog. I have to go and uh, explain to you guys a little bit about who these special guests are, because keep in mind, this is from the 70s and stuff like that, so... Uh, there's a very high chance that you don't really know who these people are. So, allow me to explain who Julia Prowse is. Um, she's actually a well-known dancer back in the 70s. She has done a lot of amazing performances in, in television, on stage, and also in feature films. And now, she actually got a chance to show off her moves in, um, in The Muppets. Now, don't expect any kind of modern dance or anything. It's more... Uh, a bit like ballet. I didn't fully go into what Julia Pr Prowse has done in terms of her dancing, but from what I've seen in her eps in uh, this episode at least, it's more like uh, kind of this ballet sort of thing, or more not like I guess it's cont like classical yet a little bit contemporary. I I think that's the best way to put it. Now in this episode, we actually get a little bit of a taste of. Pretty, uh, uh, kind of a, an introduction of who these characters are. So, we know that Kermit is the front runner, but we also get a little bit of an introduction with the other Muppets, like uh, Fozzie, Gonzo, Miss Piggy, and uh, Scooter, uh, and also Statler and Waldorf. Like, we pretty much got those moments. But I will say that I think the biggest thing about this episode is how it started off, and of course, it begins with the infamous sketch of Manamana. By the way, guys, before you go into the comments or anything, I know exactly what you're thinking. You do not have to finish off what I just said. I, I know every single one of you watching this is thinking inside your mind, do, 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 do. I know. I know. But anyways, uh, but yeah, but in terms of the episode itself, it is, it is a nice little introduction. Like, we see, we see Fozzie as, we see, like, a bit Fozzie as one of the performers in there. Like, he hasn't fully established that he is a comedian, except some, like, except in the intros, because, uh, the way that this, like, the intro is made in here, like, it's a little bit different, but, like, Fozzie would go and start out with a little joke and stuff like that for each intro in every episode. This one, I have to admit, it is funny because, like, he's just laughing himself 
like he's laughing at his own joke way too much that he didn't even say it so that that was pretty funny but um yeah but in here fozzy is more established as like one of the performers in here De like definitely a, a likable performer like uh, he he does have a bit of a, a charisma uh, and also as for gonzo we do get a little bit of we we get an idea of what he does it's like it, it, like, we don't see his daredevil side, we see more of his artistic side, because, like, the first sketch that he has done here is pretty much eat a rubber tire while, uh, to the comp- to the comp composition of Flight of the Bumblebee, and that's pretty much it. So, that's basically what- what we see Gonzo. Not really as the daredevil that we know and love, but more as the artist. And the weirdest one, I gotta say, is actually Miss Piggy. Now, the way that she was introduced here is a little bit strange because we start we start seeing her with an at the dance sketch and then finally at the end when she was in a glee club with Temptation. Now, here's a little bit of a behind the scenes factoid actually. Um, when Miss Piggy was introduced there, there was only one small instance that she was played by Frank Oz, who is like pretty much the first official performer of Miss Piggy, but then, like, when Miss Piggy would sing or when she's at the dance, she was actually performed by Richard Hunt. So it's actually really weird when you hear Miss Piggy with this completely different voice, especially, like, in the Glee Club section, where, like, we hear the Miss Piggy that we remember, and then suddenly, like, you just hear... Uh, Miss Piggy's voice when she's singing is just completely different like hey oh, all of my love I want to love you and by the way that's actually a pretty good impression of what she sounds like I know I didn't sound like Miss Piggy but that's how she actually sound when she sang Temptation it was actually kind of weird but um yeah uh also I forgot to mention uh, like, what is the plot, essentially, of what's going on backstage? Apparently, Scooter, uh, the way that he introduced himself here is, um, is actually kind of interesting because, uh, he was actually shown up as, uh, kind of this perform- like, he wanted to perform this sketch with Muppy, which is pretty much the- the dog in this. And when Scooter was introduced, he decided to come up and, uh, you know, tell Kermit to do the sketch. But the one thing that allows him to do it no matter what is that he always brings up the fact that he has an un he has this uncle. And the uncle is what actually is the guy who owns the theater, basically. He's pretty much the, the entire head honcho and Kermit pretty much fears him all the time. So no matter what, when Scooter int brings up his uncle that you know, like, Scooter is, uh, the uncle of this guy, or that, uh, Muppy is his favorite, uh, pet, or stuff like that, so, like, he would just go with the flow, it's like, might as well do it in order to survive and stuff like that, so, it does bring up some interesting results, and, in a way, like, an interesting con contrast is that, um, like, Kermit would fear, uh, Scooter's uncle in the same way that in the new Muppet series, Kermit is in fear of Miss Piggy because of, like, her wrath and stuff like that. Like, you never know what both these major heads would do. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a fascinating episode, and plus the fact that Muppy is pretty- it, it's funny and cute at the same time of how demanding that he could be. Like, he wanted to be this major star, and I think, like, one of the best jokes that ended up happening in there is um, when he wanted to try to intro like change the title of the entire show to the Muppy Show, so yeah, definitely uh, that 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 was definitely a lot of fun. Um, but also, oh yeah, we do get another Muppet that we do get introduced, and that's actually Rolf, since technically he is the first ever Muppet in there. So he actually got some interesting bits, and uh, one of my favorite parts in there actually is when he did this song called you and i and george which i will admit is pr probably one of the best uh musical like best romance songs that i've ever heard uh without spoiling anything it's about how like it's it's called you and i and george it's pretty much how we how you and i would manage to be alone for this romantic uh moment and george well uh yeah, you know what? Screw George. 
No, but yeah, I will say that as a starting episode, it actually is pretty interesting and a pretty nice opening overall to the Muppets. Like, you get an idea of, like, who these characters are. It may not be as over the top or as big as you'd probably expect or know about the Muppets, but it, it really is a nice starter to know, like, how this show is gonna roll, uh, even as a variety show. So, like, you understand how, it, like, pretty much how it's going to work out because basically this whole thing is a show and also you get uh, a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes. So, it, it's a very nice introduction to how the Muppets are going to roll out and, you know, even I would suggest um, if somebody would want to start watching the Muppets or, like, with the Muppet Show, like, pretty much start out with the episode with Julia Prowse. So that's pretty much it with this episode. So now that we got the original show going, let's see how the others would go. And until next time, see you later, dudes.